Happy birthday, son. Happy re-birthday, raw birthday. Resurrection day of the sun. He's come back from the dead. He was dead at the Southern Cross of Capricorn. And now he's begun arising to Aries. 12-25-2018. 25 and 12, what does that equal? 37. 3 and 7, 10. 1 and 0, 1. And then it's an 11 year this year, so 1 and 11, 12, 1 and 2, 3. It's a 3 day. The sun has begun to arise to Aries on the ecliptic path. The great circle of the year. The sine wave of the sun. God's sun. Mithras, Mithras' birthday today, the Ra's, Ra's myth, the myth of Re, Ra, the sun, who arises to Aries through Janus, Ari, January, and Fume, Aries, February. Through Aquarius, Aqua, Osiris, and P, Isis. Uh, Aquarius, Osiris, and Pisces, Isis. The god and the goddess of the underworld. That is the sound of Kiri Takanawa. What a creamy sounding voice. Like Christmas. Creamy. Hampson before that with Old Tannenbaum and Ave Maria with Luciano. The blood. And Kathy Fuller. Now, Caribbean of the bull with the shroud of Turin. Engrave this day and highest behold with grace from the first known Christmas cantata. I'm going to read uh, from Beauty by John O'Donohue today. And then later on today, I will be wearing my Papa Smurf hat and doing Donald Trump equals Donnie Darko, the third part, perhaps the final part for me to do. And it's going to be focusing on the persona. The word persona, which is where our word person comes from, as in personality, it literally means mask or facade, the face. That's all the person is, it's not the whole self. It's just the surface, the surface. So I just opened randomly to this, quote unquote randomly. Divination can be a, uh, employed by opening a book up at random. And this, uh, what a better title for divination, to discover the divine blueprint in your soul. John O'Donohue, rediscovering the true source, sources of compassion, compass, ion, all-encompassing, serenity, and hope. Holy hope. From being whole, total, complete. To discover the divine blueprint in your soul. Neither in environment nor in heredity can I find the exact instrument that fashioned me. The anonymous roller that pressed upon my life a certain intricate watermark whose unique design becomes visible when the lamp of art is made to shine through life's fool's cap. Vladimir Nabokov. Nabokov. The heart of all creativity is the awakening and flowering of individuality. The mystery and magic of being an individual is to live life in response to the deep call within the call to become who we were dreamed to be. In primal terms, it is the call to discover and realize the divine blueprint in your soul, in the soul. This is where true freedom awaits us. Freedom is not simply the absence of necessity. It is the poise of soul at one with a life which honors and engages its creative possibility. There is no other presence in creation that has such potential for freedom as the human self. Yet like seagulls in the unsheltered cold and ferocity of the ocean, we often nest out on the cold ledges of famished extremity and neglect to remember the meadow where the flowers await. Naturally, there will be times when truth of heart demands that we live on the ledges. To remain there, however, resembles an addiction to misery. To be an individual is to stand out from the group or the system and such separation always entails vulnerability. Deep in our nature, there is a desire to belong, to fit in. Our bodies are fashioned from the clay, and it is strange for the body to be a separate object able to move around in space, no longer umbilically linked to the earth. Perhaps this desire to fit in is the draw of ancient gravity, 
the desire of the separated clay to be one with the earth again. This gravity of belonging is also evident in the animal world. Animals love to take shelter in each other and dwell together within the embrace of the herd. My desk faces a window onto the moors where each day a flock of sheep graze. These Connemara sheep are zen-like. They dwell utterly here among the mountains and seem to look on the humans as a transient intrusion. The freedom of the human individual is also the loneliness of never being finally able either to submerge its mind in the silence of the earth or melt into the simple innocence of the herd. May God's love be with you always. Hare Krishna. Aloha.